Hey everybody, Stephanie here with Escape and Paint. How is everybody tonight? I'm so excited. Um, I've got a kit here that I've got at Hobby Lobby that I bought around Christmas time. I'm wanting so bad to do it, but I've really not been brave enough to do it. So I'm just going to take my time and do it slowly. And I wanted to hang out with y'all while I did it. So if y'all don't mind, I'll point the camera down. And let me see if I can get this. The screen and the camera and computer and I'm not necessarily BFFs today. So I'm just going to try and keep it where I can see what's going on. And then I'll leave that there. Okay, y'all can see me. Oh, sorry, I thought I got all the flowers. I, these are all paper flowers that I'm working on. Well, that one's not yet, but I've got it sitting over here to make a paper flower with it. I haven't played enough with it yet. I've been running in a dozen directions. It's going to be anything else. So here's what the box looks like would have all the pretty stuff in it in the box and it looks like this in the front. I really wasn't worried about the glitter or the sequin stuff so much as I was worried about wanting to look at the wood cut out and how it's laid on there and all the rest. Uh, I stenciled the Be Beautiful on there. I had uh, that design was a free design I'd gotten somewhere and was just playing with it. But I thought it made me think of something we need to be reminded of sometimes in our daily lives. Okay, so it comes with all these cool little things. Let me get this in down so I can actually open it. Okay. To the side. To the side. Okay, so it comes with red, pink, and purple. I'm not going to say they're sequins. They look like little gems to me, but they call them sequins. They're kind of a sequin. Yeah, they're small sequins. They just don't have the holes in them. Okay, so they got sequins in there. Comes with a mix mixing cup and some gloves. A measuring cup and the epoxy. Here's part A and part B. And then, where did my, my directions are right here. It came with a big mat that you could lay out to put all over your thing and protect it, but I already had this brown paper one here, so I'm just going to leave it down and save that for another time. And our instructions. See, they had several other pretty kits, and I did get a notebook kit because I'm going to do it later. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, this... It, I'm kind of excited about it. I wanted to play with this one. I figure if I mess up the heart, it wouldn't be too bad, but I didn't want to mess up my notebook cover. And I've got the notebook cover kit because I want to do it. Um, but there were some really awesome looking little kits in there, but this is the one I got. I don't have anybody into unicorns, at least not anymore. The jewelry one kind of appealed to me because it was really pretty too. But I'm just going to try this one today. So... What you will need but not is not included a blow dryer and paper towels. Well, I have a blow dryer. Let me see if I got it plugged in. And I've also heard that rubbing alcohol is a better way to get the bubbles out. So I've got some rubbing alcohol. <clears throat> in a spritzy bottle like I've seen on several different videos here there and everywhere before okay the stirring stick there it is it's like where did the stirring stick go I don't have no stirring stick I do have a stirring stick the ones I like because are the purple ones they seem to be like going everywhere. They're like the ones that are loose in this container. I'm like, man. There's the red ones. And there's the pink ones. But the purple ones. Man, they they got a hole in that purple bag. It's all dripping out in there everywhere. That's going to be fun. Alright, let me get this one off. All right. 
pour precisely equal amounts of room temperature resin and hardener into the mixing container. Adding too much of either will cause the resin mixture to not cure properly. Slowly mix, and that's another key to not having bubbles in it. Slowly mix the resin and hardener together using the stirring stick, scraping the sides and bottom. It's very important to mix the resin harder thoroughly. All right. <clears throat> oh, well, where's the hole left that they're falling out of so that I can keep more from coming out? It's the purple is the one that I want. Oh, there it is on the inside. That's funny, y'all. It's got the hole in the side of the bag. So if you lift it up, they're going to like stream and pour out. Okay. So, get the stirring stick. Sprinkle the sequins into the wells of the heart board and make sure you've gotten them spread out evenly. So I'm going to start by dumping these. Try not to send them flying everywhere because glitter and sequins, they go everywhere but where you want them to go. So, all right, that's going to look out. Let's see, I've already got a couple of runaways. Okay. Oh, it's coming out both sides. There's a hole in this whole bag. That's funny. May have too many in that center well. We'll see in a minute. So, if y'all are watching, if you'll tell me where you're watching from and what's your favorite project that you're working on right now, what are you working on? I've got several friends doing heart challenges and stuff, and that was another reason I was like, I want to do this one right now. They're decorating or making different kind of heart items in their groups and stuff like that. And I just trying to spread these out a little bit. All right, guys. Okay. Mm. So obviously they're not evenly spaced right now. So I'm going to put this bag in the trash though. And I'll take my stirring stick and just kind of knock them around a little bit. And it doesn't have to be like completely purple or exclusively purple. You can do some red in there. Hey, Miss Jill! Tammy says she hasn't done a heart yet. Well, this is my, I've got some stuff that I want to do. I've got a, I've got a hankering to burn some crayons. I don't know why. I want to melt some crayons. I, 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 for whatever reason, I saw somebody's heart the other day and it made me think of like when we were kids and we would do, um, and I don't even remember actually doing it. I just remember seeing it when I was a kid. You take the wax paper and make like the stained glass windows and stuff. 
No, man, this is not vinyl. This is a wood kit that I got at Hobby Lobby. I didn't quite pay that. I think that I actually put it on clearance or marked it down, but maybe I did pay that off. For sure. But I wanted to play with the resin and I wanted it to be in a safe kit that if I messed it up, I could be disappointed with, but not terribly disappointed. I also bought the, uh, oh, the notepad. That's it. Make your own bullet journal cover. So I've got that kit that I'm going to play with later too. So I think I'm going to do it next week. I'm, I'm, I want to see how this turns out and make sure it doesn't like really mess up. I'm shooting sequins everywhere. At least it's not as bad as glitter. This, this is so far cleaning up considerably. Okay, I say that and then I shoot one to the floor. <laughs> Use resin all the time. Not sure what you're using came late. Um, this is just what came with it. This is just the uh, it's color flow is the brand name and it's the epoxy resin that came in this kit. And I'm just going to mix the equal parts and behave like it said. Do you ever use rubbing alcohol to help get rid of your bubbles rather than hair dryers and stuff? Jill, because I really haven't played with it. What I have done, we've kind of messed up. I think it was because we were mixing it too fast and didn't know that you needed to mix it a little slower and some things like that. So, Jill, do you ever use rubbing alcohol to help with the air bubbles? Okay, I'm going to pull a pinch of these out. That's really cool. I'm just trying to get some of this mostly cut. Kind of like the red in the background and it might overwhelm me. Not just offer no use a heat gun or a ladder to get rid of the bubbles. Okay. Well, there were several people on uh, some YouTube videos and some TikTok videos that were saying you can use those, but you potentially burn your mold or your project if you're not real, real careful and that they thought spraying alcohol in it was a much better way to do it so i don't know i've bought a few molds i plan to play more with this i think this is going to be some fun gifts gifts because we bought some molds the other day to make some posters and some other stuff. And like I said, I've got that binder journal. Zoe and I are thinking we've got some camps coming up that it'll be fun to do some notebooks for everybody at camp. Okay, so I think, does that look like I've got it pretty evenly out? Alcohol is used for cleaning up resin or getting rid of sticky. Okay. So, hmm. All right. So it says to pour equal amounts. Well, this is great. You just don't even have it where it's marked. Well, if I pour, okay, if it holds eight fluid ounces and I pour all of both three fluid ounces in there, I should have plenty of room to mix. Gets rid of stickiness. Okay. Um, well, that's kind of what I was wondering if that was what we were saying. Okay, so do you think I need to mix all six ounces of this for this? And I'm going to say this project is maybe a 12 by 12, and the heart itself would probably be closer to a 10 by 10. Let's see what does it say. It just says wooden heart board. Wooden board, it doesn't say how big the wooden board is. So, so no, I won't need all of it. I didn't think I would either. I'm just kind of thinking I don't need to pour all of that in there. Because I'm thinking I would need to have another mold or something ready to go if that's what I was going to do. 
because I'm like, I don't think I'm going to need that much. So cut that mixture into one third of each of those bottles. So about a, an ounce of each. Okay. And it's got this little thing, so but I'm afraid if I do it here and then pour it into there, I'll lose it. But this has markings on it too. So it'd be easier to do it that way, wouldn't it? I think that's what I'm doing. Does it matter which one I put in first? Should I put the, the resin or the hardener in first? Does that matter, Miss Jill? Since you're happen to be here, it just says slowly mix the two four equal amounts in there. So Okay, I pulled this glove back off already. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Didn't know the one time I did anything with resin before, I ended up massively sticky. And like, oh, Could not get it off because I'd forgotten to wear. All right. Thank you, Miss Jill. I do not do this enough, and I'm wanting to learn so bad. And it's like... Some people make it really complicated. Okay, now I'm going to leave that lid over there. Yeah, I have a feeling you'd have one too. <laughs> and they're not even coming off easy, so. Make sure that you stir constantly for the correct time. It doesn't actually say a time on here, which confused me too, because I was like you. I'm thinking there's a correct time. This to stir it, scrape in the sides and the bottom to ensure that it's been mixed. Maybe it's over here in this. Flat level surface, slowly and carefully pour the resin from the pouring bowl into the sequin wells. Try to avoid overflowing the wells. Okay. Let's see if that's better. It doesn't tell me at any time to stir it for any amount of time, any specific amount of time. Is that good or bad, Jill? Because I've wondered that the whole time, too. I was like, uh, why does it not? Some are three and some are 12. Hmm. So would it be better to over stir? Because it says I've got 30 minutes before it hardens. Once the resin and hardener are sufficiently mixed, you will have approximately 30 minutes to work with the prepared resin before it begins to cure. So, should I err on the side of caution and do 12? It says color flow. The brand says it's color flow. This came with the kit. I'm going to show you the bottle. It's not coming into focus. Why is it not? All right, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna give you. I'm not even gonna pour it in there until I know what how long we're supposed to do it for. Because I've wondered about that myself. Because I'm like, hmm. Okay, I'm sorry it's so quiet. I'm just waiting on Miss Jill to come back and tell me for sure how long. Because these don't say anything about um, how long to stir it. And I'm kind of nervous about stirring it too long or not stirring it long enough. We said we wanted one ounce. Boy, this is a rather slow pour, but that's okay. I kind of expected it to be.
Okay, maybe Jill just commented something for me, so I'm just kind of pouring here and I'll look in just a second. I'm just starting to get this to that line. Stir for at least three minutes, scraping the sides continuously. Stir it over and over, even though I even go for another 30 seconds. Okay, so three to three to four minutes. Okay. So I got A in there. And now I'm going to pour B in there. All right, so I'm going to slow. You don't want to go too fast when you're stirring it either, do you? Because that just adds loads of bubbles, doesn't it? Okay, guys. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to get where y'all can see. I'm scraping the sides as I go by. I'm going across the bottom in a wavy fashion. It's definitely getting cloudy. Oh, hey, Siri, set a three-minute timer. Okay. Three minutes and counting. Now I'm going to go back and forth the short way across there. And scrape down the sides. Well, thank you, Miss Jill. Where did you go to look that up? Where would where would I get just go to color flow and, and look it up? I've got a few bubbles. I don't have tons and tons. Yes, I do. I have a, a wood. This is paper for it to, to run off. Yes, yes, yes. They sent a big wax paper thing, but I put the, the paper. I already had the paper down from something else, so I was making sure I had paper underneath there. So that it would go. I'm only supposed to be filling the holes, and I'm hoping that it's well sealed on the back. Let's put it that way. If I need to, I'll go get Philip and or Zoe and get them to put this big piece of wax paper out here. But it was so big, I thought it'd be easier to just do it this way. But maybe I should have. Come ahead and done that big wax paper. I just figured anything to let the paper land on it would be better than. Okay, I keep going around and around the big oval and then back and forth, chasing it back and forth across the bottom. I'm stirring it. I'm just scraping my sides down pretty good. A lot of different resins. Resins never heard of your brand, so I just Googled it real quick. Okay. You'll have to keep your gloves on and keep running your finger underneath the bottom because it's going to drip. Finger from underneath, keep it from creating a drip if it drips. Okay. I think I understand, but this, we'll, we'll see. I'll lift it up and see, because I'd turn it over and show you, but I already have, like, the sequins in there, and I'm not going to fight with that. <laughs> but if it helps, this is two boards, and the hearts have been cut out of one set. Okay, that was my time. Usually set it on top of mini paper cups. Okay, well, you know, I have some tape. And I'll just set it on that. What do you think? Yeah, lift it up. Okay. That looks like it's done. 
for the timer went off anyway, and I've been talking a little bit stern before, and I think I'm just going to Okay, now it's just to pour slowly into the well. I'm kind of wanting to not move too many of those sequins in the wrong spots. So try not to pour too fast. So I know they're going to float, at least at first. I'm using my stirring stick to mush them around. Okay. Well, I talked to Zoe about putting some glitter. Does she think we needed some some fine glitter in this? And she says no. Just, just no more. So, I think she got sick of glitter when she was about six or seven, and it was all over this one outfit. She loved the outfit, but then every time she turned around, there was glitter all over everything. Okay, this whole big thing, I don't know if this is going to fill this after all. I'm going to start kind of going down this way. Move kind of, move fast if you can, okay. I'm trying not to move too many, too fast because the sequins just kind of start floating and moving around. Yeah, I'm going to need more of the resin. So should I do the initial heart to seal the insides and let it set up and go back and re-resin? Okay, well, okay, looks like everything's good right now. I just, I don't have enough to finish this, to do this half, so I'm going to have to mix some more on it. Okay, so... Now I need to do the other one. The other container to get it in there.
Well, and I have the hair dryer here that did, they did say to do that with the air, the hair dryer, a few inches away. Mix this real quick so I can do the other half. I don't think it's going to do. I don't. Okay. So I'm mixing a few, a little bit more here. You will actually see the bubbles pop when heating. Yeah, I ha we have done some sealing on top of a few of them. A few things that I've done, I've done some uh, vinyl down on some on a ceramic tile before, and it is so neat to watch it when it when you're sealing it and the bubbles are all popping out of it. Um. I did a, a state of Texas with the a heart or star over where some friends lived. And hey Siri, set a three minute timer. For your a, timer is set for three minutes. A timer for uh, I set a. Uh, I made a state of Texas wood cutout, and I painted it with the Texas flag. And the first time we met them and we'd gone to their house, they said, well, welcome to Lipsy Land. Their last name is Lipsy. And it was really cute. And every time we go there, you know, I, I saved it as a pin in my phone as Lipsy Land. So I went a, a year or so back. I made her, I painted the, the Texas as a gift or something. I don't even remember what now. But I painted the Texas. And then uh, resined it to seal it. But, uh, it was fun. It was neat watching the with the heat gun or the hair dryer or whatever it is you got available to get it all out. And now I'm doing it in little swirlies on top of going back and forth and round and round. I'm trying to make sure I've got it down off of all the sides. Going around and around. Well, I will say this right now, there's not loads of heat of bubbles over there on that side. Thank you. Like I said, it was a Hobby Lobby kit that I found at Hobby Lobby. But it came with the wood, and then I put the stencil on there. But it had red, pink, and purple sequins, and you could put all, you could have done it. I think the, the picture showed it being done ombre, where you had, uh, had it going from one color down to another, through the second color down to a, the third color. But uh, I really just wanted it purple. I don't know why. I just did. But the beautiful, be you, be you beautiful kind of a thing is uh, a reminder I think a lot of people need. And this one looks like it's got way more. Okay, stop. Way more uh, bubbles in it than the other one did. I'm going to work a little faster, I think, this time. I think I know that I can. Where it doesn't float everything away a while ago, so it's going really slow.
Oh, heat it in the cup. Well, there's that. That's a smart move. And a lot of there you go. That works. That's really smart. All right, so I'm going to set this to the side for the moment, and then I'm going to turn on my my hair dryer. Sorry, y'all. I don't think I happen to have any uh, lighters handy. You know what? I've got a heat gun right here. I think I'm going to grab it instead because this thing is just mashing everything and moving it around. Oh, where's the little one go? Yeah, heat gun is definitely more my friend for this. I have a little one somewhere, but I don't know what I've done with it, so I just grabbed the Some of these sequins floating around as the heat gun was moving things around it was definitely moving them and making them float I'm like go down go down go from the resin yeah i saw it and i thought this is just too cute a project not to try this is just too cute not to try well, thank you, Miss Jill, for all your help, because let me tell you, I probably wouldn't have mixed it long enough without knowing, or I'd have overmixed it one of the two, because I really don't know. Okay, I'm going to turn around so you guys can see it. And yeah, it looks good so far. Lots of sequins. Glittering in there. Oh, I'm gonna lay it flat because it's still kind of slick. I keep seeing sequins, and I think that it looks like there's air bubbles moving, and it's not. It's the sequins moving in the sea of resin. So it's hilarious. Thank you, Miss Jill. I, now that I know how long to do it, because I've got another kit from them that I cannot wait to try. 
And it's the same brand, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to do me a journal. Jamie and all of them are always talking about their journals and that stuff. And I thought, I cannot stand it any longer. I'm going to make me a journal because I found the resin kit so I can do it. So I'm going to be making me a journal. I don't know. I may try that tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we will love it when it hard. I'm so excited. Thank you again, Jill, for helping me. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, appreciate y'all coming in, hanging out with me. I am so excited about this project. I think it will be so fun to do the to do the journal bullet journal. And I wanted to try some playing with the resin. And thank you so much, Jill, for coming in, hanging out with me. We'll have to do a, a, a project online together sometime. Figure out something that we can both do that. Maybe some coasters or something that would be fun that we could both do and and uh, do it online together. So I'm just going to have to leave this. Okay, and then it says to clean up. So wipe down all your tools before the resin dries on its surfaces. That sounds really smart. Okay. Oh. So I have a little bit of resin on the top of the wood, Jill. So should I just smooth it all around? I've got another glove here. I think the heat gun blew some of that up on the edge of it. So. I'm going to smooth that out just a little bit since it's sitting there. I'm going to smooth that. Oh, I hear company coming. What are you doing? I'm doing a live. That's what I'm doing. You're just now alive? What you been the last several years? Um, dead in the water. Oh. Business-wise, anyway. <gasps> Where did that come from? Oh, no. Where's that going? I don't know. I don't even know where it came from. He said, rubbing alcohol is your friend when you clean them up. Chemical so. reaction with those gloves. Maybe. Jill says, hi, Philip. Hey, Jill. Okay, well. Where did you get hair out of it? Yeah, well, you may have to come home with hair. You can tell your hair or not. All right, so I think we're good there. Good thing y'all can't see what I did to her. All right, so I'm going to quit touching it now. <laughs> you get the heat gun? Yes, I've got the big one, and I hit, hit it with the butt bullets. Yeah, hit all bubbles, the, are you sure it's bubbles and not sequins? Oh, no. Look close. Tell yeah, me if it's it bubbles or sequins. Sequence. Yeah, it is sequins. Because <laughs> trust me, I kept trying to blow them around and shoot them all over the place. It was funny. There, the sequins in it definitely adds a difference. They flirty. A different thing. So, yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to put the sequins in first or not. And it tells me to put them in. And I'm like, but they're floating away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you again, Jill, for all your help. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys for... Whoop. And thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with me for tonight. We'll talk to you all again probably tomorrow at some point. Glad y'all got to see me.